here. Thirty four degrees, four minutes, twenty nine seconds north, hundred and eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty eight seconds west. The lot number is 1876988. -988. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book, so divide your lot number by 90,000. One eight seven six. 988 eight. divided by 90,000, yes. One million eight hundred seventy six thousand nine hundred and eighty eight. Twenty. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. Twenty one. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? Let's see what the site is worth to them. One eight seven six nine eight eight. The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. They can make a killing, but how do they pull it off? Know why I plumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys, you do your talking once the smoke clears. Throw out the guns! How long do you think you can hold out? Let's see if I can't put one right between your eyes. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? 
Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial, something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Watch it!
I appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. Just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Running low. Give it up, Chop. I know you're there. Give it up, Chop. I know you're there. Real clever, asshole. I'm gonna find you. Give it up, Chop. I How know How long you're do you there. think you can hold out? All right, men, hold the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. Very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Ah! Oh. <sighs> I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. Monroe, where are you, damn it?
You want me? You got me. Jack Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Oh, you crazy son of a bitch. How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Dr. Fontaine. I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Let them go. Let them drift away. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already.
smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. I'm guessing Benson's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. That's a hell of a payroll. Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. It can't be stopped, Kelso. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Former patient. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He, he did whatever Fontaine asked. He, he had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and, and then he went off Monroe. the rails. I don't have a fucking name! He worked as a bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! Kelso, you son of a whore! Get me a goddamn doctor! <clears throat>
him, Jack. There's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathed down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side. Right now. Christ, what was that? An explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. We have looters around the corner. Cuff them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. Shoot it top, you little brick. Get that bastard, Cole. Now ain't the time to be looking for a profit, asshole. I wish I could say the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. Poor people. We gotta find out what went down. Nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. I mean, look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, appealing for calm. Television? We can afford one of those things. Anything to go on? You're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion, but I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with it. Turn upside down, Cole. Then it's time for us to do our jobs. Vaporized. Oh, brother. This is crazy. Looks like a war zone. See what you can scrape together. Looks like all that's we left. Oh. Can try the laundry tag. Detective, you seen this yet? Come take a look. Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we've got in here. Tamako Akamato, Japanese name. Any 
any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. Oh, only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. What is it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Maybe. I used them in OCS. These first letters are the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. It's an address, 133 North Vermont Avenue.
Seems irrelevant. No good to me. I thought four fix was a tough break. something here perimeter is up the whole place is contained maybe if no not everything here is going to be relevant Any idea what this is? A very large egg cup? A Viking helmet? How would I know, Phelps? I put it back together. Looks to me like some kind of machine component. An airplane part, maybe. Appreciate your help with those vultures around the corner. The scene's yours now. There's not much more we can do here, Detective. I hope this had nothing to do with your seditious bingo friends, Phelps. Get me answers, Detective. Help me out. Let's get to the address you took off the cold field. Find out what's there. That's it, Mr. Mayor. We're wrapped. Well, good. Thank you very much, son. I think it went okay. Couple of pickups, sir, but that's to be expected. Nobody's ever done this before. We'll get better with practice. That maybe goes for me too, son. Should have played it a little more somber. What do you think, son? Uh, no, Mr. Mayor. You came across as, um, very resolute. No, no, I don't think I have time for you right now. Make an appointment with my assistant, Detective. Don't touch the camera! You have any idea how much these things cost, Mac? Stay back. Some sound that was. Go to work, Phelps. Plenty of people will want an explanation. first saw the cloud, I thought we were all done for. Let me know if you find any evidence of the VIX. It'll take days for this thing to I'm cool Fred off. I'm Fred Nicholson. This is your place? What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. Tell us what happened here. Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. And what exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. 
What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor intensive. The process could be worth millions. Who is Tamako Akamoto? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. Akamoto was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies, but the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it's legitimate research. So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do. You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist. And his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks! And God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. We'll be in touch. Mr. Nicholson, can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamoto's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. And the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. You think McClellan went up in smoke, or is he still alive? You could ask the same question about Tamako Akamoto. I guess you could. You got an answer? Not yet. But I'm working on it. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size. And it looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help.
What do you need? Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. Number was uh, J2620, Cole. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No. Dead end. Thank you for all your help, sir. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Checking. No residential listing for anyone by that name, Detective. Sorry. Thanks for your help. Well, well. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamato? you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. One to the head, one to the heart. Point blank. On Jeans Lindbergh. Very expensive watch, favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. 
That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. class ring. You know what this is, Biggs? The department gives you one of those when you retire. Optimistic call. Looks like we have a match. Interesting dame, this Sakamoto. What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. Biggs, edge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner, and probably a team from technical services as well. Detective Phelps, batch 1247, messages please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Nix that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? It's over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part? Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. Thank <laughs> you. 